Canadians leading the way. Downfield. Oh, what a catch! It was a hit that, as it turns out, could rattle the entire CFL. Saskatchewan's Milt Collins laid a hit on BC Lions wide receiver Arlen Bruce, knocking him out with a concussion that would keep him out of the game for 49 days. That argues his lawyer may not have been long enough. A civil suit filed in BC Supreme Court asks if players are given good enough information to make an informed decision if they're ready to play again. That type of information would be incredibly helpful to CFL players in order for them to determine whether or not the concussion that they feel they've recovered from is in fact recovered enough that they can expose themselves to another hit to the head. Concussions are nothing new. What is, is public awareness. In the States, more than 4,500 former NFL players have successfully challenged that league to pay more than $600 million for post-concussion treatment. You can be padded and helmeted to the extent you want. It's a matter of forces which will be applied onto a brain which is moving in a, in a closed skull. Bruce returned to play against the Stampeders in the Western Final in November. The CFL isn't commenting on the case now that it's before the courts, other than to say the CFL takes player health and safety very seriously and have consistently taken steps to prevent, assess, and properly treat concussions. The lawsuit doesn't specify how much money Bruce is seeking. In British Columbia, we don't plead a monetary dollar value. That's to be proven on the evidence. And the primary focus of recovery for Mr. Bruce is going to be medical bills past and future medical bills. In the court documents, which names all eight teams that then made up the CFL, Bruce claims all kinds of symptoms like headaches, sensitivity to light and sound, confusion, and personality changes. Ted Chernecki, Global News.